All right, Shockmeister fans, I've been promising to watch this since, like, July or June. We're going to start and watch the Cheerleaders trilogy here, starting with the first one, the Cheerleaders. Let's check it out. Amarosa High School. Here is the girls' locker room. Apparently the football team is doing very well. Typical high school hijinks. Yeah, by about three years. Trying to be a cheerleader. That's Jeannie. Actress Stephanie Fondue. Isn't it late in the season to become one? They're having tryouts. They are? Yeah, Peggy Jo Kowalski had to leave school very suddenly. Meanwhile, inside that car, inside the car wash there, the couple is really having fun. Girls trying out and everything. Look, look, That's Jeannie's father. Now, see here, young lady, where do you think you're going? I'm trying out for cheerleaders. Not dressed like that, you're not. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's... Rosa, hot. Tryouts. Never. Jeannie's a virgin also, by the way. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on it. I would. And I wager you should stay that way for the season. Name your stakes. The winner of this Jeannie Davis! now she needs to be initiated. A little bit hazing. She was told the boys wouldn't be in for an hour. What are you doing here? I'm being initiated. Far out. I think the coach likes women. Sundays and those pretty little tummies of yours. Sure. We could just rub them on our little tummies and let Isabel lick them off. Patty, I'd like you to stay after practice today. Yep, I was right. This girl, I'm Susie's going to show Jeannie what to do to a I'm man. Such a hopeless case. I don't even know what to do with the boy. No problem. What you need is a little free home demonstration. Which Susie is oh so eager to show. Give a cool, cool pose. I'm on to the rise in your Levi. And they're going to get it on right there on the bus. Even the bus driver gets in on the action. Apparently some mob guys want the football team to lose. Remember Rosa loses? And we win the big bucks. Yeah, well, how's it supposed to work? That's your department, Mr. Inside. But if you want to stay cool, Amorosa better lose. Slow. There's a little french fry seduction. Watch it grow. Hey, Norm. What? Suck my toes. Toes? Yeah. Okay. And she does. After the toe sucking, it appears that they're going to get to the real deal, but uh, it doesn't happen. And Jeannie remains a virgin. Some more hijinks. Apparently, he was just warming her up for somebody else. Oh, John, you're so full of surprises. Imagine them. 
Bears. Is Amoroso going to lose? All set. All signals are go. Amoroso loses and we clean up. The big green bucks. Don't worry. Once the goof falls to the water bucket, shh, that's amateur hour. I got a plan that'll set Amoroso up so any grade school team could beat him. Jeannie's having a slumber party. And that's her pervy dad again. Anything for you. Hi kids. Thought you might like some chips. A little snack. Some dip. Having a good time? Well, if there's anything you want, anything at all, just whistle. This chick is gonna straddle a puppet made up to look like the opposing team. Hit him again. Hit him again. Harder. Harder. Hit him again. Hit him again. Harder, harder. Well, eventually the entire football team comes over and uh, an unexpected orgy occurs. Or maybe it was expected. Tom Burkhardt, key lineman. Eventually they figure out that they uh, really should have actually screwed the other team so they could tire them out because the big game is the next day. So they basically take turns tracking down all of the football players. All the football players from the other team, that is, and they screw them all night long and get them tired out. Of course, all they did essentially, literally, was even out the playing field. Because both teams are exhausted at the big game. That is except for number 12. One exception. Apparently he wasn't on the roster. Number 12? He's not on the scouting report. I never saw him before. Didn't anyone get him last night? Not if he's not on the report. So Jeannie's going to volunteer to get him. It's a rough assignment and it could be dangerous. I need volunteers. I'll do it. I'll do it. Put me in, Claudia. You, Jeannie, this job needs experience. I know I can do it, Claudia. I know I can. Give me a chance. Well, all right, you can go along, but only to keep watch. The genie manages to approach him at halftime in the locker room, and she pulls it off. Amorosa then finds a way to win, and our film comes to an end. All right, let's talk about this movie, The Cheerleaders. Um, it's a movie that came out, I think, in 1972 is the year in this one. And it, basically, you saw the plot. There's really not much of a plot at all. Uh, a bunch of cheerleaders. There's one girl in this school, or I guess in the cheerleading squad, who actually joins the squad. And she's a virgin, and the other girls basically try to get her laid. That's kind of the plot of this movie. And then there's that subplot at the end, which is... Um, the rival football team is playing their school, so they need to screw all the boys on the other team, so they're tired. Uh, they want to screw them the night before, so they're tired for the game. Unfortunately for them, they also screwed all the boys from their own football team on the same night, so they had to have orgies all over the place, and the entire team was tired. Both teams were tired the next day. Just an odd little film. Uh, turns out that most of the actresses in this movie, a lot of them actually never did any other film. Uh, some of the football players that were used in this movie were actually real football players, um, or former football players from the high school teams, including there was one guy, can't think of his name, like Clarkle or something like that. He actually ended up playing for the Rams for like 14 years or something like that. He was uh, played a long time in the NFL. He actually did become a real football player. Um, the uh, There's multiple sequels to this, although they're, they're kind of like pseudo-sequels. This 3D box that here is called um, The Cheerleaders Collection. It has Revenge of the Cheerleaders and, and The Swinging Cheerleaders also. Uh, two other movies I've had in my collection for years. Uh, I always thought Revenge of the Cheerleaders was a direct sequel to The Cheerleaders. However, it turns out The Swinging Cheerleaders actually came in between them. Um, so that's actually like the second movie, even though they're listed in a different order on here. Then there was another movie called 
uh, Cheerleaders Wild Weekend, which will be in my collection. The DVD will be in my collection um, within a week or so. Um, it's a movie I had on a VHS tape also, which is kind of, it's not really a sequel, but it kind of is. I don't know. That, that's also called like The Great American Girl Robbery or something like that. Kristen DeBell's in that one. Anyway, back to this movie here. A cast of virtually nobody. If you look on IMDb, most of the actors and actresses in this movie don't even have a picture on IMDb. And in fact, I'm not sure if any of them did. Um, one of the writers for this movie uh, did write one of the other movies, too. So there is some sort of connection between all three of these. Uh, you can get this cheerleader box set. Um, it's still available. It's from Anchor Bay. You can probably get this for about 15, 20 bucks or so. It's Like I said, it's still out there, and it's a decent little flick. There's a lot of nudity in this movie. It is kind of dirty. There's almost even like a couple of crotch shots in this movie. Full frontal nudity from the females. I think you may have even seen some full frontal nudity from the males as well. A lot of the actors and actresses in this movie aren't even listed on IMDb. It was that low budget, and uh, who knows who those people are. Uh, I show the scene with the bus driver just for one purpose. Apparently, the bus driver was actually hired to be a bus driver on the set and stuff. And they said, hey, you want to be in the movie with a love scene? He said, sure. So there you go. Evett McGill or something like that is his name. Evett something. Um, so he had one claim to fame. As a bus driver in this movie, it's the only thing he ever done. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm all over the place here. So anyway, check this movie out. It's actually cool. If you like these kind of movies, which I do, of course, um, you'll like this one. Chocked full of lovely ladies naked. What more can you ask, right? And they're cheerleaders. Um, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. We will talk about it. It's called The Cheerleaders. Go get this movie, too. It's good stuff.